we in Trinidad and Tobago society must be able to make the distinction between race pride and race prejudice. We in this modern society, especially in its current social environment and how dynamic and explosive and how potentially confrontational our social atmosphere is, especially as it comes to issues of race and ethnicity, we must be able to make the distinction between race pride and race prejudice. Someone who is demonstrating race pride may want to uplift their people. They would want better for their people. They would want to improve the standard of living and quality of life of members of their own race. They may glory in the history and the heritage and the legacy of their people and exonerate the historical achievements and accomplishments of their ethnic group. So efforts of race pride are normally acknowledged and applauded. They are congratulated. And it is positive for a people to take pride in their race. But race prejudice, on the other hand, is where you may not necessarily be paying attention to your own race and the good things that they can do and are doing, but it's when you're fixating your attention on another race. And instead of wanting to lift your race up, you want to pull another race down. So someone who demonstrates race prejudice is one who wants to attack another race who wants to destroy another race, who wants to pull back another race, who wants to remove opportunities, privileges, and advantages, and chances of other races. So when someone practices race prejudice, they can be a dangerous individual in a society such as ours. But one of the mistakes that we make is that we may hear someone issuing teachings and knowledge and information and history about their race from a point of view of race pride and we may mistake it for race prejudice but there are people in this society who are guided by their prejudicial views and opinions about other races and so when you can have someone as a government minister who makes a statement such as well indians are more intelligent than africans and the pnm knew that so the PNM tried to go through social engineering by building the University of Trinidad and Tobago so that more Africans can now get the opportunity to go to university. Now, if someone says something like that, it generally would be considered as a racist statement. But we could even try to pass it off as race pride rather than race prejudice. That someone says that their race is more intelligent than another race and this other race had to build another university for them to go to because our race is more intelligent. You could even try to pass it off as race pride. But when it gets to the point that the same individual who is now a government minister goes on to say, and we must shut down that university, then it becomes sinister then it becomes dangerous. Because if someone has acknowledged that a university was open for more African people to go to, but now you're saying after identifying that, that it should be shut down, then you are a racist. Why should the university be shut down? So that more Africans can go to prison, more Africans can spend time in jail, more Africans can resort to crime, be in poverty, be uneducated, unemployed. Why would you want that for another people? Why would you want to contribute towards the demise of another race? Why can you not just be proud and trying to uplift your own race? Why must you try to pull down another race? So you must be very careful to make the distinction between race pride and race prejudice. And if the government is bringing into their cabinet people with that kind of mentality, then I could only say to African people, it's time for you to be much more wise.